How do you get sponsored? Hello everyone. Today we're asking professional snowboarders questions like how to get sponsored and how to progress faster. There's quite a few of them in the park right now, so we're gonna go find some. We've been searching for a professional snowboarder and we finally found one. We got uh, Mark Sollers with us today. What would you recommend for progressing faster? Wow, that's such a like an open question. The thing I always say is like it sounds counterintuitive, but like everything comes from the foundations, comes from the basics. So like it might seem like you're not progressing faster if you spend more time working on basics like 180s, 360s, 540s, learning how to edge and properly pop. Yeah. But those foundations are gonna make the later tricks be learned a lot faster. And it's also safer, because uh, if you rush too fast, you start making basic mistakes just on edging, and then that's when, if you're going for like a double or something, and you just edge wrong because you skipped a couple steps, that's when things really go south. So it's a game of patience a lot of the time. Yeah. How do you know when to go and when to hold back? It's a great question. Um, I think it's situational. There's, like, I spend most of my time in the backcountry now, so a lot of my decision making doesn't come necessarily from the tricks it comes from what the conditions are doing and what the, what feature i'm riding exposure in the elements are the most dangerous thing you can have so like you can have oh like i hurt my shoulder broke a bone whatever it's going to make the exit harder yeah but the injury itself isn't that life-threatening but if it's minus 30 you have some serious exposure where you're going to you're going to have to deal with some serious stuff. So, I would say it's condition based, not trick based for myself. That's gotcha. kind of when I know if I can turn on or if I hold back. All right, we've had quite a few good insights so far. I think we're going to keep laughing and see who else we can find. Darcy got a letter on me for this trick last game of snow we did, so I want redemption. There you go, Darcy. Okay, we've been looking for professional snowboarders, but we found something even better, a local legend here. We have Jay Wexler, who has been the Black Park King for a long time. You've been in here as long as I've basically been alive. And um, I wanted to ask, how have you managed to keep snowboarding so long, not only with you know keeping the body healthy, but also keeping enough money in the bank account to be coming up here? Right, I mean, my job isn't snowboarding, so yeah, <laughs> that helps. I recognize very early on that snowboarding probably wasn't something that I was going to make money at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just try to um, be consistent, like always come up as much as I can. Yeah. And if there's anything that I think is risky, I just don't try it. <laughs> if it's, if yeah. the conditions aren't perfect, I never push anything. Well, thank you very much, Jay, for answering oh. all my questions. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we found someone on the road to professional snowboarder. I wanted to know, how did you get your first sponsor? Uh, my very first sponsor was probably The Circle. And pretty much I was just a young Grom who went to the skate park every day and went to the circle every day. And I remember tripping out like, yeah. oh my goodness, I've literally made it. Here, I got a story for you that you can mini mic. I remember when I got my first sponsorship, it was Ride Snowboards. And I got told I was getting a pro form. <laughs> and I went home to my mom with a ride sticker and I was like, mom, I'm going pro. Yeah, they told me I got the pro form. It's happening. <laughs> I thought it was it. I, the sickest story. I thought I made it. <laughs> found a professional snowboard coach right here, Chris Wawicki. Nobody wants to be patient. They always want to progress faster. What would you say to people who want to speed up their progression for their snowboarding? Who want to speed it up? I think when you look at all the different tricks that are happening, they're all based around all the different fundamentals, right? Look at like a, say like a backside 1080. Yeah. Essentially, you're putting two tricks together into one jump, right? So yeah. you have to be really good at doing a backside five, and then you also have to be good at doing a cab five. And then you essentially are putting those two tricks together. So yeah. I would say you still need to be very patient, but yeah. use all the tools that are available to you to safely make that transition, that jump into the progression. So things like trampoline, airbag, all those other tools are actually quite important in safely making that transition. Yeah. And they're eventually going to help you progress faster. And, you know, there does come to a point where you move from those fundamentals into some of those bigger tricks where you feel like, the rotations are easier, stuff like that. That all comes, but it really comes from basic fundamentals 
So if you want to progress faster, you do need to work on those fundamentals a lot yeah. more in order to get there. I love that answer. It's been a through line from everyone we've asked. They all say, start with the fundamentals and exercise as much patience as you can. Hearing it from this guy means it's legit. So thanks, Chris. I really yeah. appreciate answering some questions. Yeah, no worries, man. Okay, we have found a professional snowboard filmer here, Marcos Miranda. So you only started filming like a year ago, hey? Yeah, dropped in on a camera and laptop last year, yeah. and it's been working out. And what inspired you to make the switch from shredding to filming? It was a hard decision, man, but the inspiration was not going to my day job. And how has that transition been going from something where you have a boss to sort of making it happen for yourself? It's different. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you have to have discipline to be able to work because no one's telling you you have to work. Yeah. And uh, yeah, a lot of home time, but it's nice, man. I like it. What would you recommend to someone who's in a similar situation here? They're shredding and they want to stay in it, but think filming might be the route. Where would they start? Start by buying, I mean, I start with an iPhone, man. Yeah. So that's pretty cheap or GoPro, GoPros are cheap. Yeah. Buy one of those and start asking people if you can film them. Everyone wants to get filmed. Everyone does. So do that and the more efficient, the more quick you are to get it out to the riders or whatever you're filming for, yeah. the more stoked people are gonna be and keep it smooth, not shaky. Thanks, Coast. So we've had so many professional snowboarders here give us a lot of intel. Um, we're gonna keep riding though and see who else we can find. Whoa, oh my god! Let's see if we can do a front side 360 out. Yep, and it goes. That's good. Okay, we found a certified professional snowboarder right here, Darcy Sharp. How are we doing? Thanks, man. I'm good. You're gonna be bummed. There's water on the lens. <laughs> My lens is dial. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Your your filmer is. Oh, and now I'm gonna be. I'm gonna ask for a wipe from your filmer. Wow, look at Darcy hooking us up. Okay, thank you, Darcy. We've been homies for a long time, but you're someone who really inspires me. Who's someone that's inspiring you these days to go up and shred and makes you excited? Hey, thanks, Liam. Some of the just generation that were professional snores before me still inspire me like watching Stalle moving into filming watching Torger making amazing film projects yeah watching Mikey Cicerelli going and killing it in the backcountry um, that really inspires me because one day I want to go into the backcountry and continue my career as a professional snowboarder not having to chuck on these hard pack jumps <laughs> when I'm not really feeling it yeah. um, so one day that's kind of I want that as my exit plan so I'm inspired by them because they've kind of exercised that exit plan and are doing it and in the park um, I have to draw inspiration from the young guns because they're doing big big tricks and like yeah. on the team you know like there's Liam Burley Cam Truth they're working so hard doing so many tricks and it's I gotta watch that and be like okay this is what I gotta do to stay relevant while I'm doing this but then I'm also watching the other dogs being like that's what I gotta do when I'm over this so the people really want to know we've all been kids coming up we all want to be professional snowboarders uh -huh. how do you get sponsored that's a, that's a good question. I think you just be a good person, network in your local community and ride hard and people will like notice it. Talk with people, go around, throw high fives to your local shops all the time and uh, ride hard and be positive and it'll, it'll come around if it's deserved. That's a beautiful answer. Do you think you need to put a lot of mind to how you sort of set yourself up for a career in it or does a lot of it just come from the shredding and being a good person? It's so different now than when I was coming up and frothing. So many different aspects. Like, yeah. I'm not that old, but social media wasn't as prominent when I was young, so you didn't have as much to study. But I think nowadays, definitely like watching people who come up, you kind of got to take notes of like what, what hits in the snowboard industry, what's cool, what kind of style do you want your snowboarding to have, and... Yeah, but also just be yourself. Ultimately, if you're yourself and you're good at snowboarding, it'll probably work out. Darcy needs no introduction, but he's got a great YouTube channel that's coming up. Marco's filming over there. So go check these boys out. They got a great thing going on. Seriously. And uh, hopefully we make more videos in the future.